Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Clark here, your librarian. There are three books I'm going to tell you about that are available for checkout in the library today. The first book is called Starfish. Ever since Ellie wore a whale swimsuit and made a big splash at her fifth birthday party, she's been bullied about her weight. To cope, she tries to live by her own rules, like no making waves, avoiding it in public, and don't move so fast that your body jiggles. And she's found her safe space, her swimming pool, where she feels weightless in a weight-obsessed world. In the water, she can stretch herself out like a starfish and take up all the room she wants. It's also where she can get away from her pushy mom, who thinks criticizing Ellie's weight will motivate her to diet. Fortunately, Ellie has allies in her dad, her therapist, and her new neighbor, Catalina, who loves Ellie for who she is. With this support booing her, Ellie might finally be able to cast aside her crazy rules and starfish in real life, by unapologetically being her own fabulous self. Ellie's tired of being fat shamed and does something about it in this incredible novel and verse. This book just won an amazing book award called the Prince Honor and shouldn't be missed. The next book is Addicts, Oscar Robertson and the Basketball Team That Awakened a City. This is the true story of the all black high school basketball team that broke the color barrier in 1950s segregated Indiana. By winning the state high school basketball championship in 1955, 10 teens from Crispus Attucks High School in Indianapolis were the centerpiece of segregated education in the state and shattered the myth of their inferiority with their on-court prowess. Their brilliant coach had fashioned an unbeatable team from a group of boys born in the South and raised in poverty. Angered by the astonishing Oscar Robertson, a future college and NBA star, the Crispus Attucks Tigers went down in history as the first state champions from Indianapolis and the first all-black team in U.S. history to win a racially open championship. From native Hoosier author comes this true story of a team up against impossible odds, making a difference when it mattered most. This book is a previous young Hoosier book and an excellent choice if you would like to read a combination of basketball and local black history for Black History Month. The last book I'm going to tell you about is One for the Murphys. Carly uses humor and street smarts to keep her emotional walls high and thick, but the day she becomes a foster child and moves in with the Murphys, she's blindsided. This loving, bustling family shows Carly the stable family life she never thought existed, and she feels like an alien in their cookie-cutter perfect household. Despite her resistance, the Murphys eventually show her what it feels like to belong until her mother wants her back and Carly has to decide where and how to live. She's not really a Murphy, but the gifts they've given her have opened up a new future. This is a fearless, realistic story that's compassionate, thought-provoking, and beautifully told. From the first page, you'll be drawn into Carly's story. This book's written by the same author as Fish in a Tree, so I highly recommend it to you if you enjoyed that book. If you're interested in any of these books, they'll be available for checkout at the circulation desk when you visit the library today. Be sure to snag a copy and have a great day!